made it home, I dug her out, then I made her one of my aces Marijuana fragrance, this tree here is outrageous Want me to play in your city, send an email to my agent Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Straight Outta Boston here, aka the King of Boston And today we are back for episode 60 of the Utah Jazz Association Here on NBA 2K13 And today after the Boston Celtics won game 6 in episode 59 we are here for Game 7 of the NBA Finals. The Utah Jazz and Boston Celtics are all tied up at three apiece. The, Cel the, uh, U the Jazz won the first three games. Celtics won the next three. And we're all here, all tied up for Game 7. This is going to be an epic game. Obviously, do or die. Game 7 of the NBA Finals. There's nothing like it. Obviously, winner go home for both teams. We're playing for every player's goal when they come into the league. Every every coach's goal, every fan's goal when they start rooting for a team. They all play, and they all root for this very moment, Game 7. The Jazz have really stumbled into this Game 7 after losing the past three games. We're going to have to look for some really just better all-around basketball from this group of players. They haven't played great defense. They haven't played great offense. It's just been kind of a mix of everything. The last game we committed over 20 turnovers. We just cannot have that happen again if we want to try and win here in Game 7. So we're going to get things started off. The Utah Jazz are rocking the green tops today, trying to get some good luck, trying to turn things around as the Utah Jazz win the tip. Rajon Rondo to Steph Curry, top of the key. Time to start out running our offense. Curry, top of the key with the ball. Has not taken a dribble yet. Now he's going to dribble. Pick and roll with Roy Hibbert. It's going to give it to Paul George. Down low to Hibbert. Two favors. Great ball movement. And favors will put it in for two when we are underway. B.J. Young with the ball, dribbling with the right down the court. Gives it to Wiggins in the corner for three, and Wiggins knocks that one down. And it's the Boston Celtics taking the lead here. 3-2, to two, now 6-5. to five. Paul George pump fakes, tries to drive on Wiggins, steps back, dribbles right into the lane, finds his man Derek Favors down low, and Favors finishes with the left. And it's a 7-6 ball game now, 9-6. Archie Goodman with the ball. He's going to look down low here to Tristan Thompson. He's going to take it himself, and he will finish with the finesse right there on the layup. And they cut the lead back down to one now, 9-8. to eight. Here we go now, 13-12 to 12 is your score. Andrew Wiggins on the perimeter, drives right, then pulls back left. He's going to get by Paul George, though, and he will finish that one over Jeff with the shot blocker. So here we go, 18-17 to 17 is your score. BJ Young with the ball being covered by Steph Curry. Gives it to Wiggins, top of the key for three, and Andrew Wiggins has become an absolute knockdown shooter in this association. He's 5-5 five of five from the field so far. Withy will miss, but Favors is there, and he puts it back in with the two-handed slam, and we have a two-point deficit right here. BJ Young with the ball. It's going to look down low. It looks like to Andre Iguodala being covered by the smaller defender in Steph Curry. Iguodala fades and puts it in. Did not know he had that in his game, but it looks like he does, and the Celtics are going to go into the second quarter with a six-point lead right now as your score is 29-23. So here we go, 31-23 now is your score. Here's Archie Goodwin in the corner, going to drive left, pull up from 10 feet, and put that one home. 10-point lead for the Celtics right now, and here come the Jazz. It's a 10-point lead still. Favors down low, nice pass to Rondo. Takes a step in, it will draw the contact, and one. And Rondo has a chance to cut it back down to seven. Now it's down to six. Thompson with the ball, trying to drive left and trying to maybe face up right. Gives it to Young. Young will drive left. Gives it to Gerald Henderson from an 18-footer. And that's going to be knocked down right there. So it's a nine-point lead. Now Rondo gives it to Steph Curry. Steph Curry with the ball. Dribbling with his right. He's got Derek Favors open for it in the mid-range right there. And he will put that one in. That is Derek Favors' best shot at this point probably. Other than maybe just dunking it around the rim. He's a very efficient mid-range jump shooter. Here's Andrew Wiggins trying to create his own shot. He's going to end up just kind of warping into the paint here. Check this replay out. This is pretty, uh, pretty sketchy. See, kind of just uh, weird animation, but anyway, it is what it is. 42 to 32 is your score second unit. Then at this point, here comes Wiggins. He's going to finish with the left and one over Gary Harris, and they have a chance to go up by 15. The Celtics looking to pull away early, and it's a 13-point lead right now. Steph Curry with the ball trying to get something. Only creates his own shot from three and knocks it down. Ten points on the evening for Steph Curry, and we cut the lead back down to ten. Now it's a seven-point lead. Andre Iguodala with the ball on the perimeter. He's going to drive right and end up Euro-stepping, doing the little Euro-step cheese thing right there. That is almost a, uh, that's pretty much a can't-miss shot at this point in 2K. But nine-point lead. Curry with the ball coming around the screen. Finds Rondo. Cannot hit that three. So he's going to give it back to Curry for the long two. And Curry will put that one in. Curry's red hot six to seven from the field so far today. Now here is Steph Curry dribbling with his right. Going to give it to Hibbert down low. And although Hibbert's tired, he is big. And he can finish around the rim. So we cut the lead back down to five. And it's going to be a seven-point lead. As Derek Favors will not make the crazy three-pointer. And we're going to be down by seven heading into the half. 53-46 to 46 is your score. And we have 24 minutes left of NBA basketball in this season. 
Here we go now, entering the second half. It's still a seven-point lead. Tristan Thompson driving left, pump fakes, and he's going to finish that one. No, but it's a miss, but Paul Millsap is there for the rebound, slamming that one back in. It's a nine-point lead. Now still a nine-point lead. Steph Curry steps back. He is blocked by Goodwin, gets the rebound back, gives it to Favors for the two, and Favors banks that one home, Tim Duncan style. So it's back down to a seven-point lead. Now back up to nine, BJ with the ball, gives it to Tristan Thompson, who will drive right, pull up. He's going to end up rattling that one home, and the Cavs, or not the Cavs, Tristan Thompson on the Cavs. Almost got confused there. It's up to an 11-point lead right now. Rajon Rondo with the ball. Gives it to Curry. We need some quick shots at this point. We cannot get our offense going. We cannot get the stops going. We need something. We need a spark. We're doing whatever we can. I don't care if that's cheesing. I really don't care at this point. We're trying to eke out a win. Doing whatever we can. Goodwin drives, hop steps, and finishes that one with the contact. It's a 13-point lead. Here's Anderson Terry. Terry crosses over. Gets into the lane. He will... Finish that one using the contact to put that one in off the glass. So it's an 11 point lead still for the Celtics. BJ on with the ball being covered by Terry. We've got Goodwin coming around a screen. Goodwin wide open for three. You can't leave him that open. He's not a great jump shooter, but he'll let him when he's open. So it's a 14 point lead. Now here we go on an inbound play for the Utah Jazz. Curry in the corner. They sack off him. Iguodala not very aware right there. And we cut the lead back down to 11. Now still an 11-point game. Thompson with the ball being covered by Hibbert. Gives it in to Goodwin in the corner. Goodwin slams it down. Archie Goodwin gives the Celtics a 13-point lead. Now Rondo trying to get something going. We cannot get the defensive stops that we need to come back in this ballgame. Our offense is not the problem at this point. Favor slams it down. And here we go. It's an 11-point lead for the Celtics. Curry coming around the screen. He is one of the best at finding his own shot around the perimeter off those screens in the NBA, and he does it right there. The lead's down to eight. Here come the Celtics, but Alfred Gamino behind the back layup. How can you stop that, Alfred Gamino? Crazy shot right there, taking advantage of the mismatch being covered by the taller Derek Favors. But here we go, another inbound play. Curry, top of the key. He's going to run around that screen for three, and that is good. Stephen Curry is heating up. He's got almost 30 points on the evening, and we are going to head into the fourth and final quarter, potentially, of the NBA season. Down by seven once again. We could not close any bit of a gap in that second quarter, or in that third quarter, I should say. So it's still a seven-point lead. Anderson Terry with the board. Out to Steph Curry, to Karan Butler for a three, and that one is knocked down. The lead's down to four. Karan Butler coming up big. Now it's a three-point lead. Anderson Terry gives it to Jamal Crawford. We got our second unit in right here. Pick and roll, Carl Landry with the left hand, and it's down to one. Now it's still a one-point game. Jamal Crawford with the ball. Another pick and roll with Carl Landry. Landry going under the basket. He's got it. He will finish it off the glass, and the Jazz have their first lead since the first quarter. It's an 84-83 ball game. Here's Andrew Wiggins, though, trying to go to work on Karan Butler, and he will finish that one in. So seven minutes left to play. It looks like it might be time to put it in the first unit, and that's what we will do. 540 left in the game. Goodwin cutting to the basket. Finds him with the ball. Now, at this point, we put Roy Hibbert on the bench and put Carl Landry in there, playing a little small ball right here with Landry at the four and Favors at the five. Rondo with the ball, trying to go to work with Landry. Landry a little bit too far away from the basket to make his own shot, but he passes it down low to Favors, and Favors slams it down. We get the lead back down to one. Now it's a one-point game back and forth. Gary Harris on the steal. Harris going to run the break. Nice pass to Curry. To Rondo. Rondo slams it down, and the Jazz have the lead once again. 96-95. Here comes the Celtics. Archie Goodwin with the ball, trying to go to work on Curry. He's going to drive right and check out the sexy George Gervin layup right there. And it's a one-point lead now, 99-98. Paul George with the ball. George is going to dribble up the court right. Give it to Derek Favors, who finishes with the left. And the Jazz take the lead. 110-99. And now I'm going to show you guys the final 55.2 seconds of this ball game. Steph Curry with the ball. Jazz up by one. They're going to look to run off some clock here and try to get a good look. Make it a three-point game if possible. Curry with the ball. They want to give it to Rondo, but Curry's going to do something on his own. He's looking for a pick and roll with Derek Favors. Curry coming around the screen. Curry's going to look for Favors down low. Running skyhook. No good. Rebounded by Thompson. And the Celtics could go for a two-for-one here if they hurry up. Looks like they will slow it down and take the easy look if they can get it. So the Utah Jazz will have the lash out of the game if they need it. Archie going with the ball isolated on Rajon Rondo. Surprised if they didn't go to Wiggins here. Back to Young. Young to Goodwin. Goodwin still being covered by Rondo. Steps back. No good. Gary Harris on the boards. Outlet to Rondo. Rondo will give it to Paul George. George is going to drive. Leaning layup. No good. That's rattled away. BJ Young on the boards. Four seconds to play. BJ Young steps back. He's going to have to put it up. No good. The Utah Jazz win the NBA Finals. What a crazy last sequence. What a crazy game. What a crazy finals. But the Utah Jazz get it done. 
That was unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. I do not believe what I just saw. An incredible sequence. We try to get the ball out of Rondo's hands there so they would not foul a poor free throw shooter. We give it to George. George gets a little over anxious, it looks like, and he just tried to make his own shot, drive to the rim. He did not use the contact. They did not whistle a foul. We miss it. BG Young on the boards is going to dribble up the court and just ends up missing the half-court shot. Nothing they could do about that. But anyway, the Utah Jazz are your NBA Finals. Here is the championship presentation. That's going to wrap it up for me. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. It doesn't matter. Peace. Thank you to these two great teams who gave us an exhilarating seven-game final series. Thank you for the dedication, the passion, the intensity, and the teamwork. These are two very worthy teams, but they can only be one champion. Congratulations to the players, the coaching staff, and the fans of this year's NBA champions. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the uninhibited joy. I mean, the exhilaration that come with winning it all. And Clark, these home fans, a celebration they can only witness in frustration and disappointment, Steve. It is some kind of feeling, certain. Yeah, it is. For, th for these fans, I mean, uh, to come so close, uh, almost getting there with their team, and all of a sudden to have to watch the opponent celebrate on their floor, a bitter pill to swallow for sure. And now the presentation for the Bill Russell Finals MVP Award. Let's go to NBA Commissioner David Stern. A tremendously talented player and deserving of the award name for Bill Russell the ultimate champion. Congratulations to the winner of the Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together enjoying Clark this NBA championship moment. Well, Kevin, this has been a special postseason, and it's awesome to be here to witness what happened tonight. Steve? Yeah, guys, this is what it's all about. All the work you put in, uh, not only during the offseason and during the season, but throughout your life. When you're a kid growing up and practicing on your, on your driveway or on your schoolyard, this is the culmination of all those efforts. So for these players and this team, one of the great moments in their life and their career that they'll ever experience. A tremendous season and a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, Doris Burke, and the rest of our terrific 2K crew, good night, everyone, and thanks for watching.